Hello, welcome to our bulk product edit introductory video. In this video, we'll be going over some of the functions that our bulk product edit app has, as well as setting up a few example tasks. Our app can bulk edit thousands of products quickly, which can help you better manage your store, as well as saving you time. When you first open our app, you'll be greeted by our app dashboard. Here, you can access any of the features that our app has. For example, you can go and click on any of these buttons, and you'll be taken to the corresponding function. You can also click these buttons on the sidebar as well. You can also change the tab to change which part our app is editing. For example, we're currently in bulk product edit, but there's also bulk collection edit, bulk customer edit, and bulk order edit. When you change the tab, the buttons on the sidebar will change as well. We also have a tutorial video for many of our functions. To find the tutorial videos, you can click on the link under each of the buttons and it will take you to a video tutorial of that specific function. Our app also has a function to CSV import and export, to schedule tasks, and to revert tasks. For now, let's set up a simple example task. We'll click on the price, and we are brought to the task setup. Now, we can begin to set up our tasks. The first step will be to set the filter conditions to define which products to edit. For this task, I'm going to edit the clothing collection. So I will do collection is clothing. If you have multiple conditions, you can add a product filter condition by clicking on the button below. For now, we're only going to use one condition. You can also preview the products. So if you click preview match products, you can see that we have three products in the clothing collection. Next, we will set how we want to edit the product. So for this, I'm going to change all the prices to $20. We can start the bulk edit. Now the task will run. If you change your mind, you can click on the stop button and it will stop the task. Tasks can also be reverted. For example, in this previous task, which edited three products, click on the revert button under the task, click yes, and the app will begin to revert them. This will undo any changes that the task made to the products. If at any time you want to go back to the home page, go to the dashboard and you click on the home page. This will bring you back to our app dashboard. By following these steps, you can bulk edit almost any attribute of your product. For example, some of our most used features are editing price, variant options, and product meta fields. Next, we're going to create an example CSV import task to edit the products. I've already set up a CSV, as you can see here. It's just one product with the product shoes, the price, and the SKU. Now, let's go to our CSV import function. Now we can click Edit Existing Products, as the shoes product already exists on my store. Choose the file we we'll want to upload. In this case, it will be Intro CSV Import, and we'll click the Upload button. Now, we can preview the rows from our data. See, we have product title, shoes, the price, and the SKU I want. So here, we'll choose the column for searching. We're going to choose column one. We're going to choose it as the product title. This is the column that the app will use to find your product. Next, we will choose the columns to edit. Column two, choose the variant price. We'll add another rule of column three, be the SKU. As you can see here, we have some additional options so we can import it as cell value in the CSV, as a percentage of the cell value, a flat amount more or less, or to only import it if the, if the price is greater than the existing price. In this case, I'm just going to choose it as a cell value. And for the SKU, we also have some additional options so we can import it as is. We can prepend whatever's in the CSV to the existing SKU. We can append it, we can replace text, or we can remove text. I'm just going to import it as is. Now, we'll start the CSV import, and we'll wait for the task to finish. Now that the task is finished, we check the task details, and we can see that the, both the price and the SKU has been edited. If we go to our Shopify admin page, we can see that the price and the SKU now appear in the admin page. That's all for today's tutorial. If you need any additional support, you can contact us at help at hexam.com, or by clicking on the top right, clicking Get Support, and typing in your support description in the box below. That's all for today, and I hope to see you at the next tutorial.